are not an established gang yet. My friend, you should be very cautious. In my opinion, you should try to make friends with all the gangs. The Japanese, the Chinese. Al Capone once said, there is enough money to be made in this business for all of us. It's all up to Fujiyama. He wants to make a certain treaty with the Chinese gangs, not the Japanese, especially the Ginzas. Here comes the boss. What happened, Okumura-san? Shirimasen! No, no deal, no friendships with anybody. Hande Irunaro. Yeah, yeah. Who? Right now. I want that old Chinese fox dead. Okay, boss. You heard the order? I do not agree with the fighting. Akamura, it is not for us to decide. It is up to the boss. It's the order of Katana. We fight. Wolf! Boss! Good morning, Mr. Lee. Have you decided to work with us? Come here. In no way we go under Fujiyama's flag. Mr. Fujiyama doesn't want to waste any more time. San Diego. Are you sure this is a good bust? Yeah, cocaine. Hi, Sergeant. How are you? I'm just fine. We're gonna go catch us some bad guys. Good luck. Call me if you need me. See you. See you later. All right. information. Chinese gang member. His boss was killed by the Katana gang. There's the blue van over there. So the van belongs to the Katana gang? Yeah. Let's call for the helicopter. Peggy, where are you? I'm landing. No, 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 don't land. We need you. I'll give you the direction. Peggy, Peggy, 
You hear me? Yeah, Frank, I can hear you. Watch for the boat. There's lots of boats in the marina. How am I supposed to know which one's carrying the coke? Just keep an eye on the van, Peggy. I'm well informed there's a large suitcase full of coke in the back. They're going to make the swap somewhere in the marina. Just stick close to them. OK, Joe. Keep it up. Oh, it's up and ready. Uh, you just keep it warm. It's warm and ready. Hey, Peggy, can you see them? Seems like we've lost them. Come by this way, till the road out. when we need them.
got it. Yeah, I got the best. your place. So they call him Samurai, huh? Yes. His real name is Joe Marshall. They call him Samurai. He speaks fluent Japanese. He got his martial arts training from the masters in Japan. He was brought over here from the police force in San Diego to fight us. To fight us? To fight me? To destroy my operation? To kill you and my other men? To put handcuffs on me? And put me in the gas chamber? Samurai? If he's a samurai, what the hell are you? I'll get to know him. And then we'll see who the real samurai is. So you know where our man is? Yes, boss. I know the hospital and the room. And he's burned bad. Real bad. He won't be able to talk. I want him dead. I want his head cut off and brought here. I want his head on this piano so that every man in my organization understands once more that no katana gets captured alive or talks. Got that? I will bring you his head and I will place it on your piano. I know the real samurai is here. So, I'm lying there in bed with probably the most beautiful woman I've ever met in my life. Hey! What are you talking about? I'm just kidding. You know you're number one. So anyway, this I've guy... I've heard enough of these stories. So anyway, you get on the phone and you tell me that these, uh, what's his name, Omaha, Yamaha, whatever his face, his name is, right, is after me. So I figured, I'm going to have to knock a couple of these guys off. And I know I'm going to get the speech from Captain Roma. I told you guys <laughs> I don't want any more dead bodies. But what am no. I going to... Frank, come to my office. Hi, Joe. Hi, Elkie. In trouble again. What's it going to be today? <laughs> Hello, sir. Joe. Hey, Steve. How you doing? What's going on, Steve? Not much, sir. There's a nurse in there giving him an injection. He's burned pretty bad. Let's check it out.
How is he? Do you think he'd be able to answer a few questions? No way. His lips are burned. So what? He'll never be able to talk again? Oh, he'll talk again, but you just have to give him a couple of weeks. Next time, guys, catch him in one piece. Thanks, nurse. Do you like what you see? I love what I see. Would you like to touch what you see? Yes. Yes, I would. Would you like to go out with me? Uh-huh. Yes, I would. Would you like to fuck me? Bingo. Well, then let's see what you've got. Doesn't interest me. Nothing there. Nothing there? Just exactly what would interest you? Something the size of a jumbo jet? Have you been circumcised? Yeah, I have. Why? Well, your doctor must have cut a big portion of it off. No, he, uh, he was a good doctor. Good doctors make mistakes, too. That's why they buy insurance. Hey, don't worry. I got enough. It's big. I want bigger. Hey, I have, uh... <laughs> have you been circumcised? Shut up. Okay, Steve. I want you to watch the room and watch it good. You got three more officers coming to assist you. And remember, no one goes in the room except for doctors and nurses. Got it? Okay, Joe. All right. Let's All go. Right. Hi, Joe. Hi, Frank. How you doing? Watch the room from all sides. The burnt man's very important to us. Okay, sir. Hey, hey, where are you doing? I have to change the trash. Is that all right? All right. God. Call security!
Corridor two. Hey, wait a minute, nurse. Wait a minute. Get up. Good job. around. Let's go. Hey, wait a minute. I want to talk to you. Ah! Oh! Hey, wait a minute. Stop. Ah! Oh! Come on, come on. Let's get going. Move it. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute, doctor. I'd like to talk to you. Can I see some ID? Everything you did was wrong. You're the one that talked me into bringing this moron from San Diego to fight the J Japanese Katana gang. You know what the results are? A man in our custody lost his head. An officer lost his hand. And there are three police officers in the hospital right now. God damn you guys. All you've done is cost me bloodshed and mayhem. And me, misery, my future. This man has been here one week and I almost lost my job. If he's here one more week, I might well end up in jail and die of a heart attack, and I don't like that. Hey, I've been here one week. And just how long will it take you to bring him to their knees? One week? One month? Next year? At what cost and how many lives? With all due respect, sir, now I can get these guys. All I'm asking for is more time. But I don't have the time and I don't have the patience. And I don't have much more credit in this department to have bodies laying around me. Fine. You don't want me here anymore. All you got to do is ship me back to my place in San Diego. You bet your ass I will. You're on your way to San Diego, and I'll write the order. Hey, hey, hey Joe. Let's just, just wait. Just wait. Look, Captain. You know it, and they know it themselves. And what they want is results. And that's what we're going to give them. We're going to give them the results. Now, why don't we give Samurai here a second chance? Because I need him. We need him. So why don't we just help him and support him? All right? What do you say, huh, Cap? I feel like somebody stuck a big club up my ass, and it hurts. I've got to figure out a way to get it out of there. God damn it, get the hell out of my office. Get out of here. I don't want to see your face. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Come back here, you motherfucker! What happened? You're out or in? Baby, I'm always in. Okay, Mr. Joe Samurai, now that you're in, I've got some interesting news for you. What is it? Well, it seems there, there's this restaurant, Blue Lagoon, on 3rd Street near downtown. Well, Mr. Fujiyama, the head of the Katana Gang, this is where he's been hanging out. What does Katana mean? It means Japanese sword. Also, there are two other Japanese gangs, the Shinjuku and Ginza gangs. They're both rivals to the Katana. All right, both of those gangs are willing to cooperate with us. They're a small gang, mostly in gambling. They're afraid of Katana. That's why they're willing to help us. 
All right, in time we'll use her service, but not now. Right now I say you and I go pay a visit to this Blue Lagoon restaurant. You want to go? I can't, but I'll be home later on. I may stop by, so uh, keep it warm. Come on, Frank, let's go. Jennifer, I have a small present for you. Thank you, Mr. Fujiyama, but I don't know if I should accept that. Please, take it. Thank you. It's beautiful. Hello, Mr. Fujiyama. Hi, everybody. Hey, Tony, you're late. Oh, sorry. Please have a seat. Thanks. We <laughs> sat <laughs> 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 nice lunch. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Are you Fuji Fujiyama? Yes, I am. Who are you? I'm a cop. In that case, you'll talk to me. I am Mr. Fujiyama's attorney. What do you want? So you're the infamous boss of this shit katana gang, huh? Look, officer, you have no right insulting my client. You have nothing on him. <laughs> and yes, we have. We have many things on him. And this client of yours is going to need more than a lawyer to clean up his shit. Officers, if you have anything against me, then book me. Otherwise, as they say, get the hell out of my face. This is America, land of freedom and law. A man is innocent until he's proven guilty. You have nothing on me. Oh, I got a lot of shit on you. I'll sue you and the department for this insult to my client. I'll file the case first thing in the morning. Hey, counselor, you still have three or four hours before the uh, courthouse closes. <laughs> now, I'm telling these son of a bitches that we respect the Japanese of this country who are honest businessmen. And yeah, this is the land of opportunity for legitimate business, not for death merchants who distribute drugs to our children through schools and on the streets. Now I'm telling these motherfuckers that if they continue killing our children to make their precious millions that they deposit in their secret Swiss bank accounts, counselor, before your lawsuit even gets off the court clerk's desk, I'll have their stinking bodies in garbage bags and ship them back to Japan for fertilizer. Got it? And you too. Excuse me, miss. By the way, what's an all-American girl like you doing with a geek like this? See around. Hey, counselor, <laughs> we'll see you in court. <laughs> Who's that blonde girl? Oh, her name is Jennifer. She's the boss. The boss? You mean she owns this place? Her mother owns the place. Where's her father? Bang! Killed? Who shot him? He. Who? Him. Who's him? Himself. Oh, he committed suicide. Yes! <laughs> Listen, when you see Jennifer alone, tell her Tell her I think she's very lovely. I'll do that. Tell her, tell her I'll try to see her soon. Good, I'll help you. Oh yeah? Yeah, I like cops. My cousin's a cop. Oh really? Where? 
in Costa Rica. Oh. Good. What's your name? Alfonso Rafael Federico Sebastian. This is my first name. Uh, what's your last name? Oh, uh, that's all right. We just need your first name. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye bye. Until my cousin, I know you. Why didn't you let me hear his last name? Oh, come on, man. His last name would have made a book. Hey, check it out. My men, dead or alive. Move! What are you gonna do? Fight this guy barehanded? Freeze you motherfuckers! Leave him alone! Uncuff him! I'm in! Uncuff him! Son of a bitch. He killed his own men. I know. It's called code of silence. He doesn't want anybody talking. God, man, look what they've done to my car. Captain Roman's gonna burn my ass. Yeah, he's gonna burn it. Charcoal black. <laughs> it is black. Right on. <laughs> Felix case. You're the officer in charge of the case. Go do it. Bring me an arrest. All right, Captain. Mr. Fujiyama is very upset. Yes, Counselor. And he has every right to be. But frankly, I don't give a damn. But Captain Roma.
Let me warn you. Fuck you and your client. And you get your ass out of my office, or you'll have to go to surgery to get my foot out of it. Get out of here, you asshole. Leave me alone. I got more important I'll... things than a shyster like you. Get out of here. I'll see you in court. You motherfucker, I'll see you in hell. Leave me alone. Get a job. Mr. Okamura, the police officer is here. Come on in. Hi. Hi. I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd stop by to see you. Police questions? No, no, just friendly conversation. You know, rumor has it that uh, you own the restaurant. It's a very nice restaurant. Thanks. You're a police officer. Questioning is the nature of your business, isn't it? Yeah, but my visit today is simply social. Why? Well, let's just say, I think you're very pretty. Thank you. Geez, where are my manners? I haven't even introduced myself. My name's Joe, Joe Marshall. I know, and they call you Samurai? Seems you know a lot about me. They talk. Who's they, your Japanese friends? They're not my friends. Well, if they're not your friends, then how did you get to know them? I mean, do you know who they are, where they come from? Did you know that Fujiyama is the number one most wanted criminal on the police list right now? Well, I don't know him well. As far as I know, he's just a businessman, and he's been helpful to my mother and I. How did you get to know him in the first place? My father passed away. He owned this restaurant. He left my mother and I buried under $400,000 in debt. So, Mr. Fujiyama helped us out. I guess you could say he owns the restaurant now. That's why my mother and I feel indebted to him. You see, whatever he's done for you doesn't mean anything. And the money that he spent on you in this restaurant is drug money, dirty. See, guys like Fujiyama make millions of dollars every year in this town by selling drugs and destruction. Now, I don't know you too well, but I think it's pretty safe to say that you shouldn't have any interest for what this guy is doing. Well, you're right. I have no interest at all in their activities. Good. Well, I suppose being the restaurant owner, you must eat here quite a bit. Yeah, day and night. Why? How would you like to eat somewhere else for a change with me? I'm sorry. I can't. I'm, I'm really busy. Well, you're the boss. Can't you get somebody else to do it? Um, not today. Um, my bookkeeper's coming by later. OK, uh, how about tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday, and uh, that's one of our busiest days. All right, Sunday. Sunday it is. Sunday I go to church. Besides, Sunday's my birthday. Oh, Sunday's your birthday? Well, happy birthday. Thank you. What church do you go to? The Episcopal Church in Beverly Hills. Ah, the Episcopal Church. That's very nice. Well, it was nice meeting you, Jennifer. You too. See you later. Bye. Don't move. What are you going to do, shoot me? Maybe a little later. Right now, I got orders to break both your legs. Come on, let's go. Move. Stay back. This guy's mine.
Tell me who hired you. I don't know. Tell me who hired you to kill a cop. I... I swear, I don't know. Don't lie to me or I'll break your fucking wrist. Now tell me. I, I can't. They'll kill me. No, they won't. I'll help you. Assaulting a police officer with a deadly weapon will get you 15 years. But if you tell me who hired you, I'll get him. Okamura. Uh, Okamura uh, sent me. Which one is he? Oh, oh, uh, uh, he he's, he's the big bald man. Oh. All right, oh. I need his address. How do we know that this is the right house? If Akamura is here, then we'll arrest him. And we'll have a solid case against the Katana gang for hiring four assassins to kill a policeman. On the other hand, if it's the wrong house, then we'll apologize to the owner. The usual police routine. Who's going to answer to Captain Romo on this? You. <laughs> Shit, man. You burn my ass. You don't have to worry about that. It's already, uh... Yeah, 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 I know. It's already black, huh? <laughs> this time he probably cut my dick, too, huh? You better come to my house before you report to the captain. For what? Let's use it before you lose it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, listen up. Peggy, you and Johnson go around the front. Frank and I are going to go around the back. If you hear shooting, come running. Hey, preacher. Yeah? You and I got nothing to do. Let's fuck. Shut up. Damn. You promised to buy me those Japanese pearls. Did I? Yes, you promised. A favor's a favor. Okay. Hey, Vic, take a look behind the building. All right. Freeze. Is that him? I guess so. Looks like this is his last fuck. Let him finish it then. Hell, I will. Freeze, Akamura! I'm unarmed. You gonna shoot me? Or fight me like a man? Ha! 
Under arrest. Watch his arm, I might have broken. It. Looks like you did. You're under arrest. Come on, get up, get up. Well, this one's dead, too. Not captured alive. We have some problems in the police department. We have several new enemies. There's Captain Roma, Lieutenant Washington, Andrew Johnson, Peggy Lee Thomas, and this kid they call the Samurai Cop, Joe Marshall. Most important is Captain Roma. We buy him. The others don't matter. No way, boss. No way. I tried to set them all up in private business. They would be financially secure for the rest of their lives. It's a downhill situation. I say if we cannot buy them, we kill them. It is the most difficult situation. If any of those guys are hurt, they would suspect us, especially after Okamura's death. I have an idea. Let's use an outside source. I'll call New York, and we'll have them all wiped out. We cannot kill any of them now. But we should punish them somehow. Call New York, and get somebody to break both of those summer cops' legs. Or don't you or your men get involved. It shall be done. Who could shoot this in a mafia boss's house? One of his own men. Excuse me. Where did the tall guy with the ponytail go? He's upstairs with my boss. Thank you. Can I help you? We are just a little business with him. Are you a 
expecting anybody. No. That's a warning bell. Oh, yeah? Wait here. Hi there. Oh, hi. You were in church, too? Yeah, I was in there preaching. Didn't you see me? <laughs> no, you weren't. Stop kidding me. Nah, I'm just kidding. Hey, hold on. I have to ask you some more questions. Police questions? Well, let's just say some questions. Okay, where? Uh, in my car. Come on. This is the police station where you're interrogating me? This is the place. Is this your house? Yeah. I own it. Month to month. Come on, let me show you around. She left with the cop. Kill him. My pleasure. Wow. <laughs> Boy. Seems like you went to a lot of trouble. You know what? As a matter of fact, I did, uh, this chicken. I have a neighbor next door, and she has farm animals. And what I did was I jumped the fence. I stole one of her chickens and then killed it. Great. Because I really wanted to impress you. So I hope you're impressed. How did you know I'd come home with you? Let's just say I can read eyes. I don't know. We're not good friends. John! John, help me. John, do something. Leave her alone. <laughs> Leave her alone, damn it! Tell me where he is or I'll hack her throat out piece by piece. I swear, I don't know where he lives. Who knows? Well, please don't do anything foolish. 
How about Frank or, or Peggy, the girl cop? You lie. They're pretty good friends. Maybe they know where he lives. Oh, please don't hurt my wife. Damn you! Oh, my God! This is Washington's address. Chuck, you and your brother go there. We'll go to the policewoman's. He lives alone, but sometimes his girlfriend is with him. You know how I operate. We know, boss. Good. Good. You get me information, you give it to me on the car phone. All right. Let's go. Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> Who the hell are you? Hey, what are you for? I want information. What kind of information? What information about my butt? Sit down. We'll shoot the criminal. I'd love to put a couple bullets in your head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, hey, take it easy, man. I can you kill you now, or I can relieve you of this gift, this black gift. In a split second, you won't enjoy yourself the rest of your life. All I want is Samurai's address. His address? It's over there, in the closet. Go get it. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing here. Damn thing here. Huh? Ain't nothing here at all. Leave him alone! Leave him alone, I said! Drop it! I cut his throat! I said, leave him alone! Stop! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him in the head! Leave him alone! He's dead! Shoot him! Shoot him! You love cutting people, huh? Now you're going to get it. Now that is real professional. I thought so. No. Answer the phone. Me too.
remember. <laughs> now you tell me where he is. I want his address. Now! And it's gonna burn more. Now you tell me where he is. Rose! Rose! It was in Zima Beach. Crescent Road. Yes. Number 35. Thank you for your cooperation. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jennifer. Happy birthday to you. You thought of everything. Well, you can't have a birthday without a cake. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, I mean, fast. Get out fast, man. Those guys are looking for you. Oh, yeah? What happened? Come on, just get out fast. I'll explain later, okay? They're coming after you. Looks like they're already here. Gotta go. Back inside. You can run all you want, but you'll never get away from me. Johnny, come on. have you been? I've been worried sick about you. There's nothing to worry about. That's easy for you to say. 
Mr. Fujiyama was very angry. He made arrangements for your birthday. He got you presents. I don't care. I don't want him to ever do anything for me again. What is the matter with you? The man has been good to you. I don't give a damn. And you know why? Because I'm in love. I should fire both of you. You never brought me one of those bastards in alive so I can nail him with something. And because of you, I'm about to be fired. I'm going to lose my pension. That means my future's gone. But you know something? I don't give a fuck. There's only one thing in this world I want. I want you to find that motherfucking Japanese gangster. I want you to kill him, and I want you to kill every one of his men. I want you to turn his house into a bloodbath. Don't leave anybody alive. And when they're all dead, you come back to me. And all three of us will turn our badges in. Say goodbye to it. We'll be off this police force for good. Now you're talking. All right. See you, Captain. See you in hell. Let's go, Frank. Why did you come under? Because I'm an undercover cop. Samurai, drop your gun, or your sweetheart will be dead. 
All I want to do is get out of this country. I thought you were fond of her. Yes, I was, before you came in. Now that she loves you, you have to worry about her life, not me. Neither do I. Drop it! Drop it or I'll shoot you! Take it easy, Frank. Go ahead and shoot. Her head will be blown off before I go down. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. How do I know if I drop my gun, you won't shoot me? Well, for one thing, I don't want any more trouble with the police. Bullshit. The minute we disarm, he's gonna shoot. Drop the gun, Frank. I don't want Jennifer hurt. He's not stupid. He doesn't want to do the killing himself. Go ahead and drop it, Frank. You American cops aren't as smart as I thought you were. Your sentiment always gets in the way of your intelligence. Smart in every way, except one thing. What's that? <laughs> With all his money and success, he's not as smart as I am. To do what? <laughs> Put on a bulletproof vest, man. Let's go home. I got one more thing to take care of. What? Yamashita. He's still alive.
Now we see this here. Watch out. Let's split up. Sword. Hey, Joe! So they call you Samurai? Let's see how good you are with the sword. Samurai Super Cop. Come on, try me! Kill me.
doing? No. Leave him alone. He's a samurai. He wants to die with honor. Ah!